Hi everyone, my name is Vincent Go and welcome to this new Substance Design of 5 tutorials. And today we are going to speak about a new node in Substance Design of 5 which is the Pixel Processor node. Um, this is a really powerful node but not that easy to, to understand so what we are going to do today to give a concrete example is to focus on making something that I've been showing in video a few weeks ago which is rotating rotating sorry normal maps um, why is that? Uh, first because it's something really tedious in general to do uh, if you do 3D for long, such a long time you know that the easiest way to rotate a normal map is to basically rebake it but uh, sometimes you don't have the model and it's quite tedious why is that? Uh, it's because Actually, if you know how a normal map works, um, actually it stores information in the, the three uh, color channels. So while the blue is not that important because it's more depth information, the the red uh, and the the red sorry and the green are actually storing vector information. Uh, so direction basically. So as you see, for example, the red is storing the information from left to right, and uh, the the green is, is, is storing from top to bottom in uh, in OpenGL and bottom to top in uh, DirectX. So that's actually these two which are really important because combined, it really creates a, a vector which is the direction of the the surface you want to mimic. So the, that was a bit the theory. So actually, this is why it's difficult because if you rotate the normal map, the thing is you break the vector because if, for example, you have a vector which is pointing up, if you turn in theory, it should pointing right. If you turn right like, like this, for example, if I turn right, in theory, the vector should uh, point right, but as the color is the same, it's still point pointing up. So what we're going to do with the pixel processor is actually handling the rotation first, and second, we are going to change the color of the green and red channels so they they uh, update the vector direction. <coughs> Sorry about that. So to show you how it goes, right now after we will have a node like this with a simple parameter, a simple rotation parameter and as you see here the color is updating so that's exactly what we want and exactly what we're going to do so I'm going to start from scratch so first of all I create a new graph and I will call it uh, rotate normals size is not that important but we are going to put something a bit bigger 512, 512 which is good and I didn't put any uh, output <coughs> sorry so first output that we want and actually it could be the only one will be a normal map output of course so right click output and you set it as normal and I'm going to use this normal map that I created where, which is actually the, the logo of Algorithmic and now you need just one node and we are going to do everything inside which is the pixel processor node. Technically, it's feasible to place the rotation outside the pixel processor, but as we are going to focus on it, um, it may be a bit more complex, but uh, we are going to do everything inside. So, once you have the pixel processor node, I will plug the normal map inside, and I, I make sure that by default it's, it's in color, that's what we want because we are going to output a normal map which will be in color as well. And we are going to plug it here. So as you see first, what I'm going to show you is when you plug something inside the pixel processor, by default it does nothing. 
because the pixel processor is basically a, we can call it a function holder that is going to process uh, on every pixel of, of your input or you can process from scratch but for, <coughs> sorry in our case we are going to process uh, this function on uh, on our input so once you have plugged it you are making sure it's in color you go to edit and you have this by default which is just a float form which does nothing but for example it gives you actually as you see it's already set out output and basically it's uh, so far you just uh, it's just a, a number constant float uh, float for so when it's a float for what it it says is that uh, the first one is r g and b so but we don't need that so we are going to remove it so right now it's black and first thing we want to do is to to catch to catch our input so to do that we are going to take a, a variable which is a get float 2 and we are going to choose this uh, uh, this variable which is one from algorithmic which is the expose one <coughs> oh, sorry which basically is going to to scan all the all the pixels of the of the of the, of the image. This image is the pixel processor. But what you are going to do, for example, to give you an example, is once we have done that, so we can say, okay, from this point, you are going to sample uh, the color of the input. So it's still track here but we are going to say okay right now take the image input 0 we put it in bilinear it's cleaner and we are going to if you set as output right now what you have is really what it says it says okay for each pixel grab the same pixel in, uh, in uh, uh, of the input and output it because I say set output not of course that, that's not what we want but at least it explains you a bit how it works so now actually we have two tasks to do is first is going will be to rotate uh, the image in uh, in total so physically rotate the image and the second step will be <coughs> sorry to adapt uh, the color according to this rotation so in order to do that first what we are going to do is to to create uh, a, va a, a variable which will be the rotation so you go back to your graph you double click in order to display all these this, uh, these parameters and in the input parameter we are going to see new here new parameter so we call it uh, rotation not really original but at least we know and here so I put yeah like this and the label this way and now uh, we are going to say it's from it goes the default is zero and uh, yeah I think it's fine like that minimum zero max uh, one perfect actually um, and what you could do as well is, is to put like okay we are going to put in angle like that so what it does is when it it offers for in the when it's exposed it, you can you have the value in, in turns which is from 0 to 1 which is what we are going to use for the computation and the degrees which is which is more user friendly for some people so we have create our uh, our um, uh, level of variable here so right now we can go back here and we are going directly to call it so to do that you do variable get float because it's a float and here it appears so you have your rotation in the list so this is this variable that is going to drive all the rest of, of the of the of, of the function so first things first we are going to to do the um, 
the rotation. So what we have to do for us to do that is we are going to uh, actually use the negative of this one. So we are going to make a, s a multiplication. So you do spacebar, operate a multiplication. And you need also a float that will be minus one. It, it's just because um, we want it to to rotate. Uh, um, if I don't do that, actually, it will rotate uh, anti-clockwise, and I don't want that. So right now, whatever the input, it will be the contrary. So okay. So here, I say. So I have this. So right now, this part is easy because if you type rotate in the library, you have a rotate position node that I will grab. This one is actually belongs to the triplanar uh, node, and it, but it really works well, so we are going to use it this way. And what we are going to do right now? to use this the not the sample color we don't need it now actually, actually we are going to remove it from now but we have the get float 2 which is here and what you are going to do actually sorry I'm just watching uh, some values at the same time Okay, 0 0.5, minus 0 0.5, because this rotation, if I use it directly, for example, uh, let me check, I forgot something, so position, angle, okay, sorry. So I need a position and an angle, so the angle will be this, sorry, because this, it will be in turns, actually. Um, actu you have different ways to represent uh, angle on uh, in um, in general, but what we need uh, in in a substance designer is uh, in turns, which means from the zero to one uh, to to get your angle. So this is wrong. I'm going to move it. But what we're going to do right now is to to t to make a flow two flow two because if I do this like that, I, I'm going to I'm going to show you what happens. So if I put this as output node, and now what I'm going to do right now, just to test, uh, I'm going to create a float here, not relying on the get float. If I hmm. so if I rotate right now, uh, let me check that. Yeah, it's here. Yeah, first, first of all, I have to sample the color at some point. Yeah, so here. Sorry, because here I I can rotate, but I I don't sample anything, so it doesn't like that. Okay, right now we have it. So here I put this this one, we are going to remove it, but it's just to show you. So as you see, right now if I rotate, the problem is it's, um, there is an offset. is because basically the rotation happens in the, the, the top left um, uh, the top left angle. So what we have to do is to, to add an offset to be sure that the rotation happens in the middle here. So in order to do that, you create, we have this get float 2 here. We are going to create another float 2 with the value 0.5 and 0.5 and we are going to do an operator add like this and right now in theory the the get float 2 here right now it's at 0 0.5 0 0.5 which means in the middle see that mm -hmm. oh let me check okay it's because I have to add it two times actually I have first 
to remove it. First time. So if we move it now, let's see what it gives. So here you see that the the, the center is fine. Uh, it really rotates at the, at the good one uh, uh, in the middle, but there is of course obviously an offset. So you can retake this value here, this one, and you do another add, and we're going to subtract right now that. Not to subtract, sorry, to add again, but it will compensate the offset. So I do just use the same rotation. Let's see that. Whoa, something strange here. What did I forget? I forgot something, definitely. So, because so I have my flow. Oh, sorry. <laughs> because I, it's this value that I have to add. I I was progressively adding that. So so yes, I I had this flow to float to two times. One first to center the the offset and another one to offset the image again so right now if I do that you see that it rotates in the middle what you can do sometimes if you are not sure you can take for example this circle here and just plug it and forget all the tiling but at least if I go back to my function here and I move we see that the center doesn't move so the rotation part is done so I'm going to stop this first video here and uh, the next time that I uh, should do just uh, right after will be about um, how to adapt the color according to the rotation we, we define thanks and see you soon